Sarah Aldrich is the picture of health, smart, energetic, outgoing, and beautiful. But she requires a lot to keep her alive. She has cystic fibrosis. I say it's like a lung disease. I usually say the mucus is thicker than everyone else's. It's more like syrup than like water. It's kind of like thicker. It takes a longer time to get out. Um, and then I say that I have to do physio every day. I say that I take pills with every meal. What is truly remarkable about Sarah's story is that she is not alone. Her brother has exactly the same disease, which is statistically rare. It's only a 25% chance per child that you have a child with CF if you're both carriers. Mm -hmm. And we have two. So it's like, yeah, I'm not going to buy any lottery tickets. It makes no sense. Cystic fibrosis is a life-shortening disease. It requires daily physiotherapy to clear the lungs, but the odds are far better than they once were. Children with cystic fibrosis 30 years ago were lucky if they hit adulthood. Now they're living 40, 50 years. Everything about my future is scary and nerve-wracking and I think of like, oh, like what am I going to do? Am I going to be able to have kids? Or are my kids going to be able to, like, are they going to grow up without their mom? Or I think it's just the whole situation, the whole um, fear of like my future and wondering. It's so, I, I don't know what to expect. <coughs> On this day, a good result. Her lungs are working very well. Her dedication to managing her condition shows. I think I just want to be able to have a normal life. I want to grow old. I want to be able to like have kids and stuff. So I know that to do that, I need to keep pushing myself. I need to keep doing exercise, even though sometimes I really don't feel like it. <laughs> um, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to push myself to do it. Um, I'm still going to do my you know, my physio every day, even though sometimes it's really frustrating, I get angry, um, I realize that I have to do it. And honestly, I think what pushes me is just the motivation to, like, grow old. The hardest part for Sarah is getting her blood tested. It fills her with dread. Maybe you can check my veins first in my arm. I sure will. Uh, is it going to hurt a lot because like, I've never nope. gotten it in my hand, but I'm kind of freaking out. It'll be exactly the same. But like everything else, Sarah pushes through the fear. Ow. You tell me. Ow. No. Ow. Yeah, it hurts. To do what needs to be done. Did you get that on tape? Because I, did. I didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Through it all, an incredible relationship with her mom, a teacher, the real superhero. I'd wake up at like 5.30 in the morning and I'd do physio on one of them and then physio on the other, and they were sound asleep. They wouldn't even wake up. Two sick kids and alone at home, but with Chio, she never felt that way. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. They're amazing people. But Sarah is turning 18, meaning she can't stay a Chio patient much longer. It's a very difficult transition for Chio kids to be moved to an adult hospital without their Chio cheerleaders. I appreciate every single person. They've all pushed me, and I definitely know that I would not be where I am if it wasn't for them. Two seconds more, smidgen more, push, push. Oh my God! 97% on her test. Yeah. <laughs> there is a clear connection between the work she is doing and the results. If they're not able to do their therapy correctly, then um, their results are much lower. So that's why they're so enthusiastic when the results are better, because it means that their lungs are doing quite well. You know, she's amazing. It's kind of bittersweet that she's 17. I wish she was 10 again so that she could stay at Chio, because I dread the thought of her being hospitalized. Nice, big, deep breaths. Her doctor is happy with the results. But the big long-term problem in children with cystic is the fact they get chronic infection. Uh, and over time, it does cause 
scarring and progressive damage to the lungs. A mother and daughter who both fought for survival and never forgot what was really important.